Now, with the rise of social and mobile computing, people generate more information now than ever before. It's a phenomenon called big data, and businesses of all kinds need help culling, curating, and managing it in ways that are valuable to them. Dwight Merriman's company, TenGen, helps businesses do just that. He's also one of the minds behind DoubleClick, the advertising service that became a crucial part of Google's business after it was acquired, and a co-founder of Luxury Dealmaker Guild Group. Dwight, thanks so much for joining us here on uh, Bloomberg West. So you guys have been getting bigger and bigger clients, Foursquare, Intuit, Shutterfly. What do they want out of your service? They want two things. They want the ability to scale, in particular scale horizontally, and in addition, easier ways to write software that uses data and databases. So more companies have big data than ever before. How does TenGen help them manage it and make it useful? So we're seeing a new segment develop in the database market, uh, which is these n scalable non-relational data stores. What does that mean? Scalable so non-relational. It's, it's very hard to scale a, re a relational database horizontally. You can scale it vertically with bigger servers, but it's hard to make it run on a cluster of smaller machines. And the way computer architectures are moving, um, you just have to go that way. And in addition, that's the way cloud computing works. So if we need something, if we want something that works well on the cloud, we need something that will scale horizontally. So basically, companies need to switch databases, right, if they want to use your service. Isn't that risky? It's not risky, but it's a big change. And, and it's only because there's such a need for this that people are willing to clear that hurdle, but they are at this point. So why not just use Oracle? Why use TenGen instead? Well, there's a limit to how far you can scale that, and in addition, it's quite expensive because you're, if you're buying a very, very large box, it's much more expensive than several small boxes. Now, the database is free, right? This is open source. So yeah, what's the revenue source. model? How do you make money? Um, it's pretty traditional open source software model where we're selling subscriptions, which include 24-7 you know, production support, uh, consulting, and so forth. Uh, double click. I want to talk about that a little bit. Okay. Sold to Google back in 2008, 3.1 billion dollars. As you've watched Google integrate Double Click, are you pleased with the way that ha that, that has happened? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not too versed on the internals there at this point, but it, I still hear lots of good things in the marketplace about the Dart technology from Double Click. So I, I think it's going well. That said, Google has lost out on some big acquisitions recently, Groupon, Twitter. Yeah. We're in a completely new environment. Google has gotten a lot bigger since then. Would you still sell a company to Google these days? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Well, it's really a question of is, do you want to sell something and does it make sense? Um, and so and they is would Google be the perfect. Right buyer? Yeah, they, in that case, they were. Okay, so how about Gilt, the uh, luxury fashion site? You were also a co-founder of that. You've got a great track record. Um, Gilt uh, just raised another round, $138 million. They're valued at more than a billion dollars, and yet they're still not profitable. What does Gilt need to do to get there? Well, the only reason Gilt is not profitable is because they're investing in so many new business initiatives. I mean, the core business is profitable. So um, it's very easy for the company to be profitable whenever it wants. It's just they're being very aggressive on growth. So what do you think is Gilt's pathway to profitability and making good on that valuation and the hope that investors have for it? I, I, I think it's pretty simple. It's just a maturation curve and they're growing so fast that it, it doesn't make sense for them to optimize earnings yet. Um, going back to TenGen, Kevin Ryan, another uh, co-founder, your yep. buddy for all of these years, um, said that you would soon be signing million dollar clients, million dollar contracts. What are you doing to woo those new customers? How do you convince them to use TenGen? It's, it's interesting because what we're finding is while the early adopters in this space were the Web 2.0 companies um, who really broke the ground, is that we're seeing a, a very good adoption by enterprises. Um, we have some Fortune 50 companies are customers now. So, and, and the reason I think is that these large companies, they have big data needs also. I mean, they have a lot of data too. And also they want to find more agile ways to write code that uses databases. So they're very interested too. All right. Dwight Merriman, CEO of TenGen, co-founder of a lot of very successful companies. Thanks so much for joining us Thank here you. on Bloomberg West.